Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, just to give a little background of what uh, who we are, uh, the Border Green Energy Team is a uh, nonprofit organization founded in 2005, and we're located in Massot District, Dak Province. Um, we work closely with local communities to implement renewable energy technologies, um, including micro hydro or pico hydro. Uh, solar electric systems, biodigester, and water filtration systems. And our uh, target areas are located along the border of Thailand and Burma. Um, we work with the Thai Korean villages uh, in the remote areas. We work with uh, refugee, uh, refugee camps along the border. We work with uh, Burmese migrant community as well as internally displaced people inside Burma. Um, so this is a little background about what what we do but today I just like to focus on one project that we've been doing is the Thailand solar home system project. Uh, as you can see this is a typical solar home system that provided by Thai government uh, about seven years ago. Uh, the size of the system is 120 watt uh, solar panel to power two of 10 watt fluorescent lights and one outlet to power a small TV or a small appliances. Uh, so background about the project, uh, almost 300,000 households in Thailand in 2002, they have uh, no access to grid electricity. So from that, the Thai government in 2004 to, to 2005 uh, invested in 200 million US dollars to install more than 200,000 solar home systems throughout the country. And uh, the project has uh, two phases. One, 50% uh, of the solar home system are located in the north part of Thailand, 20% are in the northeast, and 20% are are in the south and about 10% are in the central part of Thailand. And this project has added 24 megawatt peak into our renewable energy portfolio. And after the program finished, the central government transferred the ownership into the sub-district uh, government offices. And the uh, sub-district government were asked to collect 50 baht monthly fee for the system maintenance but however uh, without any other budget or maintenance plans provided to the local government so they don't really know what to do with these systems. Um, BZ's co-founder and Palang Thai director Kun Chris Grayson uh, foresaw this uh, unsustainable program. So since 2005 to 2007, BJ trained 300 local technicians on how to properly use and maintain the systems. And they also learned about the warranty that provided by the government project. Uh, the warranty covered the solar panel for five years. Uh, the warranty for the charge controller and inverter unit combined for three years and for the battery for two years. So we provide this information to uh, these local technicians. And this technician gone back to their village and end up survey uh, 8,000 uh, solar home systems in their village. And the results that 1,200 uh, warranty claim fi uh, were filed throughout this survey. Um, and then the results of the survey showing that 20% of this system have stopped working. So later on in 2008 and 2000 uh, to 2010, uh, besides continuing on the training of how to uh, operate and maintain the system, we created a, video, a short video on how to maintain this system and distribute it to 3,500 uh, local governments who are located in north and northeast of Thailand that's accountable for 70% of the total installation. And we also raised some funding to repair 80 solar home system in two villages. 
uh, repairing by meaning that we send in the broken charge controller inverter unit back to the manufacturer and ask them to repair it and then send it back uh, and we replace the bad batteries with the new one and the also the light bulbs and we pay for everything so the villagers have to pay for uh, don't have to pay for anything so um, we also do the survey in 2010 that 80 percent of the system stopped working so toward the end we finished the fund and we can continue the project be, uh, beyond any system that we restore so just over a year ago we launched a pilot project using a business model for uh, to restore uh, this system but by asking the villagers to pay back for the equipment costs over one to two year period and also this payment covered the maintenance service that we um, end up hiring uh, a local technician who will maintain these systems. So, and also the equipment that we replace for this uh, system is high, high quality and warranted over the payment period. So for this pilot project, we, uh, we restore almost 80 solar home systems and hire one local technician. Um, so this pilot project has proved that this model worked. So what we learned from this is that how do we make this sustainable and scalable? We have to do it as a social enterprise. We've done it, the government done it, we did it as an NGO, but just finished the fund. And now we think that this is the way out, is to become a social enterprise and replace with the better high quality equipment and provide finan uh, finance payment option and also maintenance services throughout, like job creating locally, high local person to maintain these systems. Um, and for other options who didn't have solar home system in the first place, they have an option to buy a smaller solar lamp or a cell phone charger uh, for a cheaper price. And to give you some idea, these villages that we visited, the most are cut off during rainy season, like four to five months. So that's why the local technicians are very crucial for this kind of product uh, project. Uh, this is Wabra. Uh, she's a 42-year-old woman, and she make a living by uh, doing weaving uh, to sell the, her product to Royal Project. And she had solar home system for up to five years and then it stopped working for about a year. And she said that during the, when the system stopped working, she couldn't uh, continue her work during the night time. But about seven months ago, when she received our restore system, uh, she told us that uh, only a month and a half she was able to make 30 pieces of her work and to sell this back to the Royal Project and her work cost to between 200 to 750 baht per piece. So it means that she has raised her income uh, for her family at least 6,000 baht in 1.5 months, which is about $200. Um, and she was very grateful about that she have to uh, be able to use the system again. And I asked her, what do you think about having to pay the system now since she received the system seven years ago for free? And she said, well, I have to pay for the candles anyway, and the candles is not good. I can't do my work with the candle lights. So, so I'm, I'm okay to, to pay. And then, you know, she earned more income after that. This is another family, um, a family of uh, Babho. Babho is a 20-year-old mother of two. Uh, she make a living by doing some uh, farming in the village. And her kids, 10-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter, they have to go to school. 
and this is what happened when they don't have solar home system they use the candle lights and this is common because you see on the previous presentation this is common in this area and imagine that you have to do some reading do some homework with this kind of lights for an hour and then inhale the smoke from these candles I mean if I have to do that maybe I won't you know become a good student um, so from that uh, Babho say um, and this is when they have the lights and it looks like this we didn't have a flash or anything when it, it took the photo uh, and I asked her if her student want to continue for higher education which is more than sixth grade in the village would she send them to to school and she said yes definitely yes um, and this is her and she's really grateful of what she been received before and I believe that yesterday we received some information about the investment into um, developing countries in, in energy which is growing and we call it base of the pyramid and besides you know getting some uh, uh, finance financial return from this kind of investment you can see social impact right away you know maybe financial return it would be long term but f social impact you can see it just like that and this is what we are gonna take the road for from now we would like to expand this as a social enterprise and to go to other part of Thailand and I believe that there's similar projects that install in other countries that is fail and for example we found that this uh, model has been successful in Bangladesh by Grameen Shakti for over 10 years. So this model would work in anywhere in the world. Thank you. Thank you.